Today we're flying from Los Angeles to Taipei in EVA Air Business Class. We will be departing from LAX and we'll also go through the Star Alliance Lounge and then a full review of the business class experience. Stick around until the end because I'm also going to explain how much this flight cost and how I booked it. EVA Air has three flights daily, one around noon and two around midnight. Now the midnight flights are better if you like sleeping on a plane, but I took the noon flight just because that was available. And a noon flight kind of sucks because you have to get to the airport three hours early, which makes the target time 9 a.m. and that's rush hour in Los Angeles. So. Expect to get there early because traffic can be unpredictable if there's a car accident, everything just stops for several hours, and you could potentially miss your flight. And that's happened, so I am very paranoid about getting to LAX early, and this is the most stressful airport for me to get to because public transportation to get there easily doesn't exist. For most international flights, you will be departing from Tom Bradley International Terminal, that's TBIT, and today I'm flying with EVA Air. So EVA Air is in the B section today, so you can see on these boards up here, EVA Air, and then you'll be able to find it on this section. So we're going to go board in business. So I'm checking in for EVA Air, I'm kind of guessing maybe it's priority because I don't see a business class section. Uh, maybe Diamond? I don't know. Priority in business class, so maybe. And if you're flying with EVA Air, they do have a 15 kilogram limit on carry-on luggage. They weighed my luggage and it weighed 12 kilograms. So if you are worried about the weight of your carry-on luggage, in this instance, EVA Air did weigh the luggage I was bringing on. At the TSA pre-check. Got through security at LAX in five minutes with TSA pre-check. I don't always get that, but you always have to remember to put your KTN number on your ticket. Otherwise, uh, you gotta go in the mystery line, which could always be an hour or even more. And after security, we're going to go up to the sixth floor to the Star Alliance Lounge. And then we head to the left. So the Star Alliance Lounge is available to all business class passengers and first class passengers if you're flying in a Star Alliance airline. So that's EVA Airways, United, Air Canada, Lufthansa, ANA, there, there's a lot of them. So we are on the sixth floor of the LAX International, uh, Tom Bradley International Terminal and let's take a look. It's a really nice new terminal and everything here is very expensive so if you actually get lounge access you're gonna save a significant amount of money because uh, a water is like eight dollars at the airport here and I, I don't want to pay for that moving on Etihad Airways this is their lounge I've never been in here I've actually never been to the Middle East so maybe another time and I guess they don't have any flights, so it looks very closed. That's why no one's in there. But uh, closer to one of their flights, it'll open up.
recommend if you've never been to an airline's lounge before. It's really not that special. I'm really just there for the free drinks and food. And as for the food, it's not that great. It's just a comfortable place to sit before your flight. I happened to be here for breakfast and they were serving a breakfast buffet, which was very limited and not tasty at all. I ended up just giving up on the food that they provided and I went with the CTC, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which is always delicious. Time to go to Taipei. We're headed over to gate 153. We are at LAX Airport. We're gonna look around a little bit. You know, this is one of the few places you can still find a P.F. Chang's, as noted by the statue of a horse. Then the food court here where there's a Panda Express, which is also P.F. Chang's, but uh, cheaper. Same food though. Here, breakfast sandwich for 12 bucks. Coffee is the same price as outside. The so pricing was pretty reasonable. They did Fiji water for like $5.25. So that is actually a decent price for LAX. And it's pretty modern. There's a lot of places to eat, hang out before your flight, American Express advertisements. And uh, yeah, we'll just head over to the gate. We are a little early. Boarding starts at 11.35 and it's 11.25. These shots are for B-roll. All right, I guess while we're walking and talking, we are flying on EVA Airways, and let's talk about how I booked this flight. Hair is super messy, but... <laughs> so, EVA Airways is a Star Alliance partner. They have a lot of airlines you can book using miles. So I used Life Miles, which is a South American airline called Avianca. It's very easy to get their miles, but it's very difficult to use them. Partner availability isn't great. And if you want to book with Eva, you have to book last minute between like one to four days out. And that's not great for a lot of people, but if you have a super flexible schedule, it works. So I was able to book business class, 85,000 miles with uh, Avianca. If I was going to book the same thing with uh, EVA Airways, that's like 75,000, I think. But you gotta get EVA Air Miles, which are even harder to get. You can use Capital One, but there's like one to 0.75, so it actually costs you like 95,000 miles to book it, whereas it's 85,000 with, uh, with uh, um, Avianca. Okay, got distracted. Lots going on here. Folders. So it looks like we're on time. I don't know if there's some type of issue. There's a, or they're just checking some people in early. But uh, yeah, I'm good right now. I am very fortunate today to be able to skip this line. Otherwise, I'm in this line. As I was editing this video, I just noticed I did not notice Freddie Wong from Rocket Jump. Big fan of his content. He was making a lot of stuff back in the day. Not sure what he's up to. Would have absolutely said hello if I had noticed him to my right. Why don't you ask? You. All right, confession time. It's not gonna sound great, but my favorite thing about flying in business class is 
skipping the economy line, which is really long, as you can see here, and getting to say, excuse me, as I pass through the poors. Okay, I'm normally a poor person, but this is my moment. Just let me have this. For assisting them and airport personnel whose employment requires their presence. All others must exit the airport. So those lines are zone three and zone five. More information can be found. And behind me, we have zone two and four, which is also pretty long. We that's the line we have to cut through. This is a new process they have at LAX. I guess they just take a picture and they let you through. Okay. Pretty rad. Worked really well. Seamless experience. I guess I, they don't need to double check because they checked once. And uh, yeah, now we're boarding the flight. Hello. Hi, welcome. It's nice Thank you. Um, all right. Here we go. Three alpha. <laughs> Got a Sanrio pillow. Got a blanket. Got noise canceling headphones. Oop. Got a missing passport. Yes. And what's the something today? Um, sparkling water? Yeah, sparkling water. Sparkling water. Okay. And uh, may I open both then? Oh, yes, please. Okay, thank you. Here, for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. And then you can have anything here. Okay. Okay, got it. Thank, thank you. you. We got the lights. We got oh, multiple levels, earphone jack, electrical outlet, in-flight entertainment controller, which is oh, pretty old and used. But they haven't renewed this flight in a while. I have no idea how to use this thing or if you actually can use it. Seat controls. We got a lot going on here. Okay, moving on. Uh, table tray, you just pull it. That's it. Extends. He said no stowage down here, so I gotta put my backpack up top, but luckily it's business class, so there's a lot of space. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, pajamas? Oh, yes, I would, please. Medium size? Uh, large size? I think large, yeah. Okay. Do I have time to change right now, or? Yeah, you can change. Use the toilet. Oh, excellent. Okay. Thank you. Oh, let me put here for you. Oh, okay, first. thank you. Okay. So I'm going to take off my shoes. And we're going to use these slippers. This took much longer than expected. But this is a quality slipper. Look at this. Yeah, that is a slipper. I'm take these off. There we go. Slippers. Now we're gonna change into the Jason Wu pajamas for Eva Air.
Before takeoff, they began handing out the business class amenity kits and began taking orders for the meal. Now, they didn't hand out any menu, so I can't show you any footage of that. They just held a menu that was heavily marked up and told you what was available. For drinks, the same thing. I just kind of had to wait and find out what they had as they told me what was available. Another bag. Another bag within the bag. Okay. Got a lip balm, body lotion, facial mist, No branding. Eyeglass cleaner. Eyeglass. Oh, we will choose one. And that's it for the amenity kit. It was odd that it did not come with compression socks, which most amenity kits do come with. So that's where I'm keeping the amenity kit. Those are my shoes, clothes, because I changed to these pajamas. That's where the blanket goes, because where else? And then we got um, the headphones and then some miscellaneous stuff I have here. I don't know where I'm gonna keep my phone. Hopefully that won't be an issue, but there's no closable storage in the business class seat, which is a little surprising and a little inconvenient if you have a moderate amount of stuff. Cause you know, the amenity kit was provided, the pajamas, the blanket, the um, headphones and that uh, takes up more than the space that they provided. In flight entertainment. Now this is an older plane so the screen isn't as new and as high resolution and the selection also not great so in-flight entertainment isn't the best choice when flying between taipei and los angeles that would go to starlux which is the brand new airline with a brand new plane and the good thing about that is hopefully eva air is going to stay competitive by upgrading their products If you have a smartphone, you're going to have a much higher quality experience watching shows off of that. And I happen to have two dead pixels on my TV screen here that I could not look away from. It was just, my eyes just were drawn to it. Lavatory review. Starting on the far left, we have some toothbrushes, some actual towels, and some earplugs. That's my Costco card. And, uh, Pixel 7 Pro. And to our right, we have some mouthwash, hand soap, body lotion, and mystery item, because I forgot to record what it was. Back here, we got the mirror, and you can see the pajamas I'm wearing that was provided, and they were very comfortable. Meals. So this is a 14 hour flight, and you get two meals and a snack on the flight. You can also get a mini meal between meals and I decided to get a cheeseburger and that was pretty good. For the first meal I got the chicken rice and this was several courses. It started off with this quiche thing with the salmon on bread. Then bread and butter and then this crab salad which was pretty good. 
this potato soup. Another salad -y thing. And then our main course, the chicken rice, which was not bad. It was okay. It's not something I would go out of my way to recommend. But that's what we got for the first meal. Two. This was served about two hours before arriving at LAX, and I started it with a latte, and then this uh, sour thing. This this was not good. I did not like this thing. Uh, yeah, I I fully regretted it as soon as I bit into it, and there was no napkin to really spit this into, and I felt bad trying to spit it into this uh, uh, tablecloth, so I just stuck it through. Yeah, did not enjoy this. And then this uh, beef burrito looking thing, which was also just okay. How much did the flight cost? Well, I used miles, but if you were gonna pay cash, it would cost $3,600, and if you were paying cash, you might as well fly with Starlux for 300 bucks more and be on a brand new airplane than a very old one. And if you were going to use frequent flyer miles, I used Avianca, which are called the Life Miles, and they have transfer partner bonuses throughout the year with City, Capital One, American Express, and at times they even sell miles for 1.25 cents each several times a year, which means you could just buy a business class flight for less than $1,200. Now, I only buy miles if I absolutely need to, otherwise I just go for the credit card bonuses. And for the flight cost using miles, it was 85,000 miles and $51.70. But when using life miles, they are very easy miles to get, but very hard miles to use. So if you want to book Ava Air and you have a lot of flexibility for last minute travel, look four days out. And I also cross-referenced the official Eva Air booking site to see if there are any business class flights actually available. Otherwise, you might just be waiting around and no seats available anyway. So yeah, booking with Life Miles is pretty difficult because there is limited space. And when there is space, it opens up to all the airline partners. And that's enough Miles nerd talk because very few people actually need that information. I just wanted to leave that out there in case you were wondering how I booked this flight and I just happened to have Life Miles through various banking programs. <laughs> Now that I've arrived in Taipei Airport, I gotta make my way over to the city. I could do that with public transportation very affordably. They have a subway that connects you directly to the city for about $5. Or you could take a bus, a taxi, or an Uber. The time right now is around 5 p.m. and I don't want to get hit by the subway rush hour holding a luggage. It is very difficult to travel at that time with luggage on the subway, so I'll be taking an Uber. So when you exit the airport, that is the taxi stand. It is official taxi rates from the airport, so don't worry about being scammed. Then all the numbers out here are the different meeting points. So we have 25, 24, 23, and on the other side, 26, 27, 28. If you're, if you're getting an Uber, this is where you're gonna catch it. Now, when you take an Uber or a taxi from the airport to Taipei, they do a flat rate that's about 1200 NT, at least it was at this moment in time, which is about 40 US dollars and should take you a little less than an hour. 
And if you didn't know, your Uber app works globally. So if you have Uber in the US, you can use the exact same app to call an Uber in Taiwan. And when you do call that Uber, you're going to meet them outside the airport at one of the meeting points. And that's it for this EVA Air flight review. If this video was helpful, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe. And if you're interested, I guess I'll just make more content because it is fun for me to do these things and share all my experiences because I don't like going somewhere and not knowing what to do because you miss out on all the cool features and things that you really wanted to do. All right, with that, this has been Full Vlog Dan. Thank you.